when you've got somebody that's that stagnant, even little changes start creating momentum. In 48 hours, you've pretty much completely cleaned your room. You've now proven that you can shower daily, brush your teeth, drink more water, and make plans, exercise. Did you go for a walk? Yeah, it was fine. For one, I wanna say good job. Transforming your life uh, takes a lot of work, but the fact that in 48 hours, you look totally different. You look like a teacher, to be honest. Oh, thank you. You're capable of pursuing what you really wanna do. The next step is you going back to school. Yeah, that'd be great. I just finished my last session with Jacob. I'm really optimistic. I'm hoping that he sticks with the plan. You know, Mike, I've, I've been talking to the virtual audience every day after the show and kind of giving them the bubble over my head about what was on my mind while I was doing what I was doing. And the thing I wanted to focus on today is, didn't you think it was an amazing change in the young man's life that hadn't taken a shower or washed his sheets in two years? Uh, yeah. And so great job Thank you. in yeah. working with him, Mike. Yeah. And yeah, <clears throat> I, I, I wanted to point out, because what was, you know, Mike and I talk about these cases that we work on together ahead of time, and what we had discussed was when you've got somebody that's that stagnant, even little changes start creating momentum, and and that's true for all of all of us, all of us. We, we have to recognize, because you could be sitting there saying, oh, man. I'm 50 pounds overweight. I, at 20, I could have done it. At 30, I could have done it. But now I'm 50 or 75 pounds overweight or something. Uh, it's so far gone now, I can never get there. That's not true. It's like you're here now in October. October's going to go by. November's going to go by. December's going to go by. Those three months are going to go by whether you're doing something about it or not. And so, so maybe that's 12 weeks. And maybe you lose two pounds a week for 12 weeks. That's 24 pounds. You can show up on New Year's Eve 24 pounds less than you are now. And, and you think right now it seems insurmountable. You don't have to do it all at once. Little changes add up. And that's what coaching's all about, right? Yeah. I mean, and I'm sure all of you have something in your life where you want it but you just are kind of waiting till tomorrow or next week or, you know, when the timing's over, when COVID passes or what have you, instead of looking at today and just saying, I'm making a decision to do it today, you know? So it's, it's really, we could look at his life and say, oh my gosh, he's not showering, which by the way, that, that's really low level functioning. But if a guy like that can do it and you're just thinking, how do I make a little more money or how do I go on a date or how do I you know, do whatever it is, you know, you get to seize today because this is it. It's the only life that we know of. That's right. I may come back as an elephant, but yeah. this is all. No. <laughs> but this is, it's really, it's not a dress rehearsal. And it's all about, we don't leap tall buildings in a single bound. What we do is we say, okay, what's my goal? And then what are the steps I need to take to get from here to there? And then put a timeline against it and that's it. You know, I used to work in the corporate culture, and the number one thing that was requested over the years was goals acquisition training. Because mm. you would go in and teach somebody how to set a goal and acquire it by, by identifying the little steps, the stepping stones to get across the creek. And you show them how to just take each little step and get across the creek and it changed departments, it changed companies, it changed organizations, and it will change your life. So you gotta figure out what's a goal, what are the steps, and make sure the goal is measurable. That's what coaching's all about. It doesn't assume mental illness, it just assumes behavioral malfunction. You just gotta change your behavior. That's a bubble over my head. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do wanna hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. 
you just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!